the Witch. Presented by Deeply Inspiration. The Witch presented by Deeply Inspiration. Have you ever wondered why? The stroke of midnight sends shivers down your spine. This is no mere bedtime story. It's the witching hour. A time steeped in history and fear. A time when the veil between our world and the supernatural thins. When witches, those enigmatic figures cloaked in darkness, are said to be at their most potent. A whisper in the wind, a chill in the air. That's them drawing power from the darkness. As the last chime of the clock echoes, the witching hour begins and with it. A tale of terror in the darkest corners of the night. I found myself face to face with the unimaginable. Under the obsidian veil of darkness, a figure emerged more specter than human. The witch, her silhouette, twisted and hunched, was a grotesque caricature of humanity. Her eyes, twin orbs of malevolent flame, burned with an unholy light. That chilled me to my very core. Her skin gnarled in action was a tapestry of shadows that danced in the moonlight. Her voice a dissonant symphony of whispers and screams echoed in the silence, each word a chilling promise of dread. She moved with an eerie grace, her presence a palpable cloud of terror that consumed the tranquility of the night. Every step she took, every word she spoke, was a masterstroke of suspense and fear, making me feel as though I was trapped in an endless nightmare. Her cackle pierced the silence of the night, a sound that still haunts me to this very day. Beware the vengeful witch, for her curse knows no bounds, and so the protagonist found themselves in the chilling grip of the witch's curse. It was like a shadow, creeping into every corner of their life, turning joy into dread and hope into despair. Their laughter turned hollow. Their dreams twisted into nightmares. The curse was not just a punishment. As I looked into the mirror, I barely recognized the person staring back at me. Was this the result of the witch's curse? Or was it just the beginning of my nightmare? 